we're going to do today is a quick introduction to the CritterFit online system. It's the companion app for, uh, for the CritterFit scale, and uh, it's something we've been using. We've been using a version of this in our cattery for the last year and a half. Uh, I started out just like uh, many of you tracking uh, my, my data in, a, in an Excel file, but quickly found uh, it wasn't adaptable and quick enough for me to see on the, the time scales that I needed with my, my, my little ones growing the information that I needed. So first we're gonna create a new user. So we go to register. And what you'll see here is a standard registration uh, uh, page with a terms of service. So I highly recommend you read through and of course you must agree to the terms of service. So we're gonna create a new user. We're gonna create a password. Now, one thing I'm very proud of is that uh, uh, the, the security that I built behind this interface um, the password is never stored by me. I have no access to it. We actually store it in the, natively in the Postgres database as a salted and hashed uh, uh, password. So it is not possible to recover it. So when we do implement password recovery, it will not be retrieve your old password and get a new one. It will actually be set a default password that you can change later on. So you are in complete control of that. With that said, uh, I, I do recommend creating a, a unique password for this site. And in general, for every site that you create a password for, they should have a unique password. After you agree to the terms of service, your user is generated. And so we'll go and put our username in and log into the service. When you log in, you first pop up uh, you'll notice that there's a new nav bar with a bunch of uh, information available. The first page that it shows is your critters. This is where you can create, look at a list of all the, the animals that you have in there, as well as add or modify uh, a critter. So if you want to add an animal to it, this is where you would do that. You also have input measurements. So after you've added a critter, you can it'll appear in this drop down menu. You can put in its mass as one of the most important measurements, but you can also put in event notes. Uh, so, so I've populated this with a couple uh, useful events that, that I track in, in my cattery. However, we are gonna make this fully customizable so you can make your own events and, and track those events and those events notes. So once you select a cat in the dropdown, uh, these tables will populate with items from the database and we'll do another video showing uh, this with a lot more data later on. Likewise, the results, this is the power of, of CritterFit Online is the results are plotted in a very clean and, and readable way where you can, you have control over what you're seeing. So again, we don't have any data in here now, but these will be graphs that graph the mass versus age, the mass versus time, and you can select that for all litters. This is actually a litter drop down menu where if you want to organize your, your animals by litter, you can do so. There's also be a legend where you can isolate and show just the plot of one animal versus the plot of multiple animals and, it's, and then you can take pictures of it. It's, it's fantastic. We also have a resources page. This is really just my to-do list at the moment, but it will be populated with videos on how to use this site, how uh, uh, facts about what it can do, what it's useful for, and how to get the most of the information out of it. And finally, we have the settings tab, which is uh, a lot of information, up, or actually a little bit of information uh, that, we, that we store. So it has your email, your name, when you started becoming a user, how long your account is active till, there will be a uh, button added below here to pay for your subscription. If you're part of the Kickstarter, depending on the level for which you uh, support the Kickstarter, you will get one or three years uh, included. And then you can also go down here and modify your user settings. So if you're used to working in grams, if you're used to working in kilograms, pounds or ounces, this system is fully adaptable. 
Likewise, if you want to see the, the, the age of your animal uh, displayed in months, so they're 18 months old instead of 1.5 years old, uh, you can change that as well. And so when you set it on here, it automatically pop pop it, propagates through the rest of the system. So if we go to input measurement, this is now changed to pounds instead of kilograms. When the mass is displayed down here, it'll change to, it, it'll, for the, the mass itself, it will show it now in pounds instead of uh, the default kilograms. So what I've intended is for this to be a highly adaptable, just like the hardware itself, easy to use, and of course, it's always evolving. This is really our, our alpha version. It's still, it, it's still got a lot of work to go into it, but it's already highly usable, and, and I'll show that in a future video with lots and lots of data.